Hey, what is going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thank you for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Today, we're talking T-Mobile reports coming out on the Sprint uh, <laughs> customer losses for quarter one of 2020. Now, officially, Sprint doesn't report its quarters at the same time as the other carriers do. Uh, they're always kind of sort of like behind one quarter. So we wouldn't actually have the results unless T-Mobile is to bring it out. And of course, with the merger, now it being one single company, uh, T-Mobile has access to all of Sprint's books and so on. So we actually have some interesting news uh, that was released here in this report from T-Mobile. And we'll also talk about another carrier that is reselling service that is killing the game when it comes to uh, ads of customers, adding tons of subscribers. Before I get into the details of these items, uh, please do check out the description box for the following links. The SMT Patreon page, the second channel, Sneed Mobile Tech live streams. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech and the Megadon.net invite code, the social media platform of the future. Never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads, no tracking. Megadon.net. So let's start first with the T-Mobile slash, uh, slash Sprint News. So... Pre-merger, we know that Sprint was losing customers. I mean, it's been going on for essentially years. I mean, quarter after quarter, they've lost hundreds of thousands of customers on the postpaid side. The churn rates have been alarmingly high. In some ways, prepaid has been worse. But Sprint as a standalone company and a standalone business, some numbers are in. T-Mobile decided to release these numbers. I'm not sure what the motivation was. I'm not sure what it means. But... From the postpaid side, postpaid phone subs, Sprint lost 348,000 subscribers. This is up from one year ago, so that would be quarter one of 2019, where they lost 189,000. Both of those are terrible, but minus 348,000 is alarmingly high. I can't say that I've ever seen a company operate with this much for losses quarter after quarter. I mean, just the last two quarters alone, I want to say Sprint lost about a half a million subscribers on postpaid. Their churn rate for this quarter, 1.89%. 1 very high, probably market leading. Um, to give you guys an idea of where things are at for most carriers. So Verizon lost minus 68,000 subs this quarter. AT&T gained 87,000. T-Mobile is probably going to be on the positive side. I don't think anybody is going to argue that. But Comcast even added 215,000 subs. Um, now, what I want to follow this up with is the Charter piece. So Charter, which operates Spectrum Mobile, actually nailed their predicted revenues. Shares are up almost double, and it looks like they've added 290,000 subscribers. This is very good. A lot of positive momentum for the company. TV revenue is up. The wireless side is doing very well. So Spectrum Mobile, which is a prepaid MVNO of Verizon, very similar to what Xfinity Mobile does, uh, and with the case of Comcast Cable Company, they sell the service for $45 per line or buy the gig for $14. I think Xfinity does the same thing, but the buy the gig plan is $12 uh, per gig. Uh, both offer Verizon Wireless 5G also moving forward, as will US Mobile. Uh, these plans get you 480p video streaming, DPrio at 20 gigs of usage on the unlimited plan, and then you also get 5 gigs of high hotspot high-speed data, and then it actually gets slowed after that, but it's still unlimited. Taxes and fees are extra. You know, you get access to the Spectrum Wi-Fi hotspots and so on. So all of that on the, you know, we see a lot of positive things coming out of Xfinity and Spectrum Mobile. So what this tells me is that while Verizon maybe didn't do the best on its standalone operations, they seem to be doing just fine with their MVNOs with Xfinity and Comcast, pretty much combining, I, I mean, they're at about... Um, I want to say about 500,000 customers added this quarter. So I know it's not the same ARPU and the same revenue that they would generate on their own in terms of Verizon, but they're getting it in other ways and that suits them just fine. But the Sprint News, again, like I said, they're probably very glad they got the merger. They're completely out of the, you know, the, the national wireless provider side as a standalone company. Things have been trending this way for a long time. Um, you know, it's it's no no sense in beating a dead horse, 
But, you know, you could see why they wanted to get the merger done and they just wanted out of Dodge. And uh, I think it's good for them that they got out of that. And, uh, you know, now they become a T-Mobile company component and uh, we'll see how they do moving forward. You guys tell me what you think in the in the comment section, what you think of this news, the sprint piece, T-Mobile reporting it kind of seemingly out of nowhere. Uh, my question is who's asking, but whatever, um, you know, the Spectrum mobile piece with the Xfinity mobile and Verizon. All of that is pretty interesting. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So drop me a line. Let me know what you guys think of these news. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Uh, if you really appreciated this video, enjoyed it, and found it informative, please do like this video and then share it to your favorite social media platforms. That's how you can help the SMT. Uh, also, if you're new, consider subscribing if it's your first time here and you want to make sure you come back. Activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And if you are a real one and you watch this all the way through, we are going to hashtag Sprint Picklery. Absolutely, just losing those customers like crazy. Hashtag Sprint Picklery. And uh, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I am the SMT, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.